Hey, welcome in. Well, you can chalk this one up as a win for the patriarchy. Now, there doesn't seem to be many wins for the patriarchy these days, so you've got to enjoy this one. In fact, there's so few uh, wins for the patriarchy, you might be tempted to wonder if there's even a patriarchy at all. But no, no, there must be, there must be. The ladies on The View keep telling us there is, so th there must be. But anyway, what's going on here? Female Spanish thriller writer Carmen Mola revealed to be three men. Well, this is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because everything's supposed to be about how wonderful women's voices are now and how we need to hear more women's voices and women are better at everything, and including writing novels. So I guess uh, all the glowing reviews that were written about the novels written by turns out to be these three guys. I guess they'll all have to be rewritten to reflect the fact that, oh, that wasn't written by a woman. So actually, um, actually, they're not very good. And we've already heard these stories before and blah, 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 blah. So what happened was um, there was actually a, a prize, a million euro prize awarded to what they thought was this, was this female author, Carmen Mola, but was actually three dudes. And now it's just, it's embarrassing, isn't it? So these three guys had published novels and worked as scriptwriters under their real names before coming together to write as Mola. So, I mean, these guys are obviously talented. For some reason, they hadn't been able to find the same kind of success under their real names. So why would men decide to collaborate and publish under a woman's name? Why would they do that? We might get some insight here. It's from The Guardian. How Women Conquered the World of Fiction. It says here, in March, Vintage, one of the UK's largest literary fiction divisions, announced the five debut novelists it would be championing this year. Megan Nolan, Pip Williams, Elisa McFarlane, Joe Hamya, and Vera Kurian. Yeah, those are all female names. It says, over the past 12 months, almost all of the buzz in fiction has been around young women. The energy, as anyone in the publishing world will tell you, is with women. And so is the media coverage. Over the past five years, The Observer's annual debut novelist feature has showcased 44 writers, 33 of whom were female. You will find similar ratios on prize shortlists. Men were missing among the recent names of nominees for the Costa First Novel Award. Here, too, the shortlisted authors over the past five years have been 75% female. This year's Rathbones Prize featured only one man on a shortlist of eight. The Dylan Thomas Prize shortlist found room for one man, as well as a non-binary author, and so too did the Authors Club Best First Novel Award, which prompted the chair of judges, Lucy Papescu, to remark, it's lovely to see women dominating the shortlist. Now, if it were the opposite, and somebody commented that it's lovely to see men dominating the shortlist, well, there would be a predictable freak out. So it looks like in that long sought for goal of equality, well, they got it and they didn't stop. And now it turns out that uh, equality is good, but dominating is way better. It says here, a diversity survey released in February by the UK Publishers Association had 64% of the publishing workforce as female, with women making up 78% of editorial, 83% of marketing, and 92% of publicity. So you're starting to get the picture here why maybe men might want to publish under a female pseudonym? Here's a quote from a male literary agent, quote, whenever I send out a novel to editors, the list of names is nearly all female. It says he will speak only on condition of anonymity. Why is that? The subject is such a hornet's nest that almost every man in the books industry who I approached refused to speak on the record for fear of the backlash. So, of course, it's, it's political, right? It's like political feminism. So as we can see here with this diversity survey, when it comes to the book industry, um, diversity means uh, the fewer men, the better. And because everything's run by feminists, apparently, um, if you're a man trying to make it in that industry, you better not say anything because uh, the patriarchy or something. So there you have it, folks. Uh, if you're an aspiring novelist and you're male, um, yeah, I think it's time to transition. <laughs> Or just, you know, at least change your name.
Anyway, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the audio version. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.